Welcome back everyone for another adventure time with the Texas mom. I'm Sonia, the Texas mom, and with me as always I have my Texas Tornadoes, Carter and Logan. And today, after spending two days at home from our last adventure, um, that was definitely <laughs> reminding me why we go and we do our adventures because these kids need to get out of the house. So today I thought like, hey, social studies day. So um, we are going to Lyndon B. Johnson State Park and Historic Site. So it's about an hour, a um, little over an hour north of San Antonio. I remember going here as a little girl. My grandparents took um, myself and my my sister and my mom and uh, looking forward to going back and showing my kids. So here we go. Lyndon B. Johnson State Park is actually located in Stonewall, Texas and was a beautiful drive up. Admission into the park is free, however, you need to get a permit for your vehicle in the visitor center. There were restrooms and vending machines available. Inside the visitor center, there was an exhibit about the president and a gift shop. Near the visitor center was an exhibit hall that had somewhat of a Texas slash Lyndon B. Johnson Museum. It was really interesting to go and see. Also a log cabin that the kids could look into to see what it would be like to live in this environment long ago. There is a really cool living farm exhibit that is located in the state park area that you can reach either by hiking the nature trail or by driving there. It was settled back by Germans long ago and I find this really cool because I have German roots. I'm actually a first generation American on my father's side. There were many neat things for the boys to see inside the living history farm. They got to look inside of a blacksmith shop. They got to walk inside of an actual barn and see where the animals would go. And after that, we were able to look out back and find their car, AKA the wagon that they used to drive whenever they needed to leave town. Several animals to greet us on the farm, including a turkey, cows, sheep, and also some chickens. There was also a garden section in the living farm. A nature trail made for a beautiful walk. We were trying to locate the longhorns and the bison herd that are to be found on the state park premises. We finally found two longhorns and they were sitting right by the fence. It was so cool to see these majestic creatures up close. to pack a picnic lunch before we headed out to the park. There were several places to find a shady picnic area to have your lunch. We, however, grabbed the best one. We had a view of the bison herd as we ate our lunch under a nice big oak tree. The bison herd was so close to the fence that after lunch, we got to get a closer look. After lunch, we decided to head over to the LBJ Ranch, which is right across the Pedernales River and down the road. We were able to get into the National Park with our permit from the State Park.
first stop inside the National Park was the Junction Schoolhouse. This is actually where the president attended school and signed some important legislative bills towards education. Unfortunately, it was closed due to the coronavirus, but we were able to peek in the windows and see what the schoolhouse looked like inside. This was my favorite spot on the tour. I actually got to see where President Lyndon B. Johnson was buried, along with his wife, Claudia Taylor Johnson, also known as Lady Bird, and the rest of his family, like his parents and brothers and sisters. cemetery, we crossed the road over to see the farmhouse that LBJ was actually born in. We were able to look around and see what it looked like inside. However, the areas you would normally be able to stand in are blocked off due to the coronavirus. I was shocked to find out that my child actually knew that was a phone and that they knew what this was for. Also down the road on the property is the farmhouse belonging to LBJ's grandparents. The National Park is a driving tour and it is a working ranch as well so you will see cattle roaming about as you are driving through the route. There were other parts of the ranch to see, like the show barn and the cattle corral. Since everything's bigger in Texas, of course we need our own White House. I was excited to go see Lyndon B. Johnson's actual home, known as the Texas White House. It was absolutely beautiful, and the front yard overlooked the Pedernales River. On display were two Lincolns driven by the president and also his very own Air Force One Half. And of course, since there was an airplane, they had a runway. It was neat to see the airfield. Aside from the cattle, we saw several other animals, like a herd of white-tailed deer, several little lizards, and also multiple cardinals that came out to greet us on our path. My favorite part about LBJ State Park is that we got to hear a recording about how we ha about Lady Bird Johnson. That's how they got the name of. Um, Johnson High School. My, my favorite part is that I got to see a airplane, an Air Force One airplane. So we are finishing our afternoon at LBJ State Park and Historic Site. It actually connects to the National Park. So we got to check out and explore the ranch and see some really cool stuff. A few of the highlights were having a picnic lunch by the bison herd at the state park and also getting to see where the 36th president of the United States was buried. Um, so I enjoyed showing my kids these historic places in Texas and we look forward to having you on our next adventure. And remember, don't mess with Texas. We'll see y'all next time. Adventure time with the Texas mom. Like and subscribe.